Want to see more of Ashes TV? Want to help our club grow stronger? You can help us right now by subscribing to Ashes TV. Press the subscribe button below this video and support your local football team. On the 19th of October, the Horizons were playing at the Ashes Bar in Saltash. Come listen for some great local music. Saltash United travelled to Torpoint Athletic, the Mill, for the FA Vars first round. Both teams will be fighting for their place in the second round. Saltash record being the third round, they'll be hoping to equal that this year. A heavily depleted squad this time round. Cameron Lisson, Josh Griffiths, and Joe Mayward are in the team from the thirds. Steve Sargeson has come out of retirement to play this game at left back. Matt Godfrey and Matt Cusack are on the bench. Phil Combustiotis from the reserves joins Ryan Richards up front. Torpoint will kick us off here against Saltash United in the FA Vars first round. Both hoping for a place in the second round, but this is quite the local derby. And although both of these teams have been separated in the new division system, with Torpoint visiting Kimberley Stadium in just a couple of weeks' time, it does feel a bit like the, uh, the change hasn't been made. Almost like they're still in the same division. But both teams will really want to show what they're made of here. And both will want that place in the next round of the FA Vars. That was an offside, an early offside for Torpoint. Torpoint have the ball. Balls launched forward, intercepted by Trot. Now Torpoint can break. Paul Heverin on the right hand side here. He's got a Raven running down the right hand side of him, but it passes into Damerel in the box. Dangerous position here for Torpoint. Blocked there by Calum O'Brien, but the ball is still in play. Damerel again puts it inside. And that's a good save there by Ryan Rickard. Played in again. Can't get his feet around it. Lewis Young was offside. An early escape there from Saltash. Good pressure from Torpoint early on. Short pass there to Calum O'Brien. That's a man Hennig on the left-hand side who knocks the ball upfield. Reese Thompson can't get in the end of it. Now Sargeson with the ball. It's been a while since he's played. That's a good ball though through to Ryan Richards. He's onside, knocks the ball in. And it goes straight to the keeper. Corner for Saltash, so and a good move again from the visitors. Paul Heverin takes the throw in. Fortunately for them, they lose the ball, and it's up to Ryan Richards. Good pass to pick out Farron, who runs forward. Picks out clear in the middle, back on the pitch now. And here's Joe Maywood. Back to Farron. Maywood again. Puts the ball forward. Up to Phil Combustiotis, but it slips through to Jason Peters in goal. That's the top point. Heverin. Kicks the ball upfield, tries to pick out Damerel, and it's a good ball. Tricky feet here from Damerel, kicks it in, and it's, it's in. Goal, Owen Raven for tour point. Brilliant pass there from start from Paul Heverin. Up to Curtis Damerel, whose tricky feet takes him past the Saltash defence. And it's a tap in for Owen Raven at the near post. Tour point one up after eight minutes on the clock. A brilliant start for the point, and now Saltash. I've got a lot to prove here. Now comes Heverin again. That goes to Phil Combustiotis, who passes it back. Now it's Calum O'Brien charging forward. What can he make of this? Just Reese Thompson. And now back to Trot. To the right hand side. Very much trying to work the wings here, Saltash. Maywood makes a switch. Good head there by Sarge. And now again to the right hand side. Here comes Farron. And he get the ball into the box. Goes to Reese Thompson. Kicks the ball in. It's cleared out, and that is a corner. The last season, struggling with corners. They seem to have levied that problem a bit this season. The ball comes in. 
And it's ahead from O'Brien, and it's over the bar. And Hennick. Cleary doesn't have much space, is forced to pass it back to Rickard, and it's getting a bit tight now for Saltash. The ball ends up at Heveron's feet, and this could be dangerous. Demerol now with the ball. Pass it over, and the ball goes in, and it's caught by Rickard. Lucky escape there for Saltash, but now Farron can counter. And he knocked the ball field for one of the striking pair. Thompson falls, but the end result is Phil Combostiosis with the ball on the right-hand side. Now Farrant. Back to Thompson again. Steve Sargent on his left. Can he pick him out? He tries to pick out Ryan Richards, but the tall-point player is there first. Menhedic now. Over to Sargent. Good pass from Sargent. Richards with the ball. Good chance here for Saltash. Thompson with it. Knocks over to Farrant again. Farrant puts the ball in, and is there a Saltash player at the end of it? No, there isn't. It goes straight to Jason Peters. Good attack again from Saltash. But he can't find that last pass. Tor point now with the ball, hoping to counter. Ball goes over to Heveron. Back to Heveron. Raven, the goal scorer for Tor point. Takes it back again, and the ball goes in, and it's a good save there by Ryan Ricard. He had to make that save, Curtis Demerall was lurking. The combination of Combostiotis and Rich is not having much luck, much luck up front today. <coughs> the ball has rarely found their feet. Demerall has skipped past Maywood there and is now taken down. And that is another dangerous area for a free kick. It's Mike Lucas lurking, the number 11 in there. We've also got Damerill, Zalik. In comes the ball, and it's caught by Ryan Rickard. He held that well. And out comes the ball. Potential for a counter-attack on here. Ryan Richards gets to the head first. Can't reach Combostiotis. Here he comes now. And Ryan Richards has the ball. It's got the chance to put in Combostiotis, but it's a weak pass. It does result in a corner, though, for Saltash. They've had their moments of pressure so far in this game, but... Not really tested the keeper so far. Here's O'Brien. Tries to kick the ball in. But tall point clear. And now Curtis Dunn with the ball. That's... Here comes Lewis Young. Puts it forward. And that's a good ball, but Rickard's there first. Sargeson, brilliant pass there by Sargeson to keep the ball. The crowd like that one. Sargeson puts it forward. And that's a good ball to Farrant on the right-hand side. What can he make of this? Ball's crossed in, and it's just too far for Ryan Richards. But again, good move by Saltash. Steve Sargeson to come out of retirement to pull off moves like that. I think they'll be keeping him. Lucas. Crawford keeps that one in. A bit of a loose pass there. And now back to Peters in tall point goal. Gets the ball up, but that's a, that's a poor bit of distribution that, that ends up at Farron's feet. And now it's Richards. Runs at the tall point defence that can't quite reach. It couldn't reach Phil Combostiotis. And the tall point defence puts it behind for a corner. The deliveries from Farron have been pretty good so far, but so far the ball hasn't landed fortuitously for Saltash. Put the players in and that ball goes out to the outside of the box and it's trot. Shot is blocked. And now Farrant again. Hits the ball over to Maywood on the right hand side. Down to O'Brien, well controlled. Back to Maywood again. Can he put the ball in for a cross? It's just outside of Richard's reach. And now Torpoint have the ball back again. Good attack again by Saltash, but still they just cannot find that first goal. A throw from Heverin. It comes back to him now. And now the ball goes up the field, and here's Curtis Daryl. Daryl in battle with O'Brien at the back. 
And he can take it past O'Brien. He cannot take it past O'Brien. And O'Brien has won that battle. Brilliant defending again from Gal O'Brien. And Soltash escaped yet again. But now it's a Soltash ball. Over to Maywood. Been pretty steady at the back so far, Maywood. Remember, he called up from the third team for this game. Third team, of course, playing the Dutchie Leagues. Here's Ryan Richards. Puts it forward and it's a shot. And can Phil... No, Phil can bust you, just cannot get there. That was a, a loose save from Peters and the tall point goal. Up goes the ball. And Hendrick using his strength there, but it lands at Heaven's feet. Can Tor Point make anything of this move? Now it's a Raven, the goal scorer for Tor Point. Demerol takes it, and now it's at Zellick's feet. Now Heverin kicks the ball, and it's a good save there by Rickard, and it's cleared. Another good attack from Tor Point, but it remains 1 0. A few frustrated faces out there for Saltash United. 35 minutes into the game, still 1 0 to Tor Point, who've looked the more clinical so far. Saltash have had their pressures. They've attacked the Tor Point goal, but to no avail so far. Bevan on the ball. Good back heel. Now back into the Tor Point defence. You see a few of these Saltash fans in the in the back there. Out there with their red and white scarves. That's a good pass there by Richards. And here comes Kambostiotis. He's fouled. And that's a free kick to Saltash. <laughs> Tried to get it to maybe Kambostiotis or Thompson. Both of which have struggled for ball retention today. Here comes the free kick now. It goes in, and it's off a tall point head, back cleared. And now tall point can potentially break. Here's Heverin with the ball. Zalek puts it back to Heverin. The ball is put forward. Now it's Young. Can he put Rain through? Young has a crack himself, and it's Ricard. Straight at Ricard. Now Sargis. There's the ball to Richards. Richard can't keep the ball, but it goes back to Trot. Now Farrant again. He runs at the tall point defence. Now to Reese Thompson. The ball is crossed in, and it goes out. And again, it's another Saltash corner. Farrant will take this ball. There's Menhenik in there. You've got Thompson. Callum O'Brien is in there as well. And it comes to O'Brien, but he can't. Direct it goalwards. Oh, that's a lunge there. But it now comes out to Farron and the ball gets crossed in again. Rich is on the end of it and it's wide. It's that's got to be the closest Soltash have come so far. He cannot direct it goalwards. Farron with the ball. Over by the Glynis kitchen stand. Here's Cleary back to Farron. Now come Bostiotis. Wins the ball back. Now Tor Point have the ball back again. Struggling now. Can Bostiotis just keep that ball? Calls a handball there on Curtis Damerel. But now Tor Point have the ball once again. Peters. He's got Hicks to his right. Passes to Hicks. Now Hicks puts the ball out, but that's a poor pass, and Trot has the ball. He's got Richards to his left. Richards, can he finish? He finishes! Ryan Richards brings Saltash level. Mistake there from Darren Hicks, the tall point defender. Trot pounces, puts it through to Ryan Richards, who takes full advantage of that one. Saltash are level five minutes before the end of the half. Tall Point have only themselves to blame there. Sloppy at the back. Raven with the ball to Heverin. Back to Raven, back again. And he reaches the ball. 
puts it in. It's a Torpen player there. It lands at the feet of Farrant. That's a poor clearance by Farrant. And now Raven has the ball back again. Here's Heveran. He kicks the ball. And it's over. Poor clearance there. Now the ball goes up for Soltash. Combustiotis with the ball. Puts it into Thompson. Can he put the ball in? He does put the ball in. Good save there from the keeper. He just knocked the ball clear and now it's back with Tor Point. Knocked up here's Zalik. Good interception there from Sarge and now it's at Richard's feet. He puts the ball forward, tries to get to Combustiotis, but it reaches the head of the Torpoint player. Now Thompson kicks the ball, and it's just wide of the goal. It looks like Richards is playing up front his own, supported by the combination of Thompson and Cusack. Personally, I've never seen Matt Cusack play. It'll be my first experience watching him. Not afraid to put on the boots. Occasional on the substitute bench, this is the first time he's come on. Now he's with the ball, now to Sargeson. Thompson. Yes, Cusack to his left and Richard's ahead of him. Well done, Choose instead to well pass done. to Farrant. Go on, fast, drive it on! Farrant goes to the tour point. And now it's Thompson's feet. He takes a shot and it's Good just attack. wide. Good attacking move Go by Sotash. Throw in to be taken by Farrant. Collected by Cleary. So he plays the ball up and now it's Cusack. Cusack kicks the ball forward and that's a brilliant pass up to Ryan Richards. Richards is through here. Richards kicks and it's a oh, stunning goal there come by on! Ryan Richards. Second goal of the game. Such a swift movement there by Soltash United straight from the throw. Cleary to Matt Cusack and the substitute pays dividends. Through ball to Ryan Richards who finishes with a plum. Brilliant goal by Saltash United, and that puts them ahead here. Launches the ball forward, and it's an interception. I mean, Hennick. Sargent kicks the ball up, and that's a good ball there by Richards. Kusak tries to get the ball into Thompson. He's got the ball in the box here, and that's looked over. Open! Open! Richards on the outside. Kicks the ball back in, and that's deflected over the top for a Saltash corner. Good attacking move there. Another corner for the Ashes. Matt, drag someone out. Drag someone out. Drag someone out. Corner a little bit out of camera's view here, but in comes the ball now. Oh, kicked over there by Rhys Thompson. Bit of an acrobatic kick, but it was always over the bar. They've had several corners now, Saltash. Again, not one of them so far has paid off, but in comes the ball now. O'Brien on the end of it, and that's saved by the tour point keeper, Peters. Be relieved to have caught that one. It was straight at the keeper. But again, it's another Soltash threat, and they do look like they could go ahead and score another here. Ball goes up to Bevan. Picks out Zalik. Can't keep the ball, but it does go back to Bevan again. Raven loses the ball to Thompson. Thompson picks the ball up and picks out Ryan Richards. And Ryan Richards is free here. He's one-on-one -on -one with the keeper. Brings a pass to first. And that's Ryan! And that's Ryan Richards' hat-trick. 3-1 Soltash. And it's a brilliant goal again by that man, Ryan Richards. Thompson as well congratulated for a brilliant pass. Picked out Ryan Richards, one-on-one -on -one with the keeper. He had to bring her back around the defence, but he picked out the bottom corner, and that is 3-1 to Soltash. They've just made their next substitution. Up comes the ball now. An offside flag was up there, but it doesn't matter because Ryan Richards is through. Ryan Richards is still through, and he's made it four. Ryan Richards. 
four gold, fantastic. He has been on fire today in this game and that may well put Soltash well and beyond in this game. But through on goal and every time he's been put through on goal today, he's made it count. Four goals to Ryan Richards and that could well be the end for tour point in the FA Vars. We've still got another 23 odd minutes remaining with a three goal deficit for tour point to make up. We feel that any time Ryan Richards is put through, that may well be another goal to add to the Saltash tally. Headed clear there. Tour point still have the ball, but they do look nervy. Hicks. The ball is lost though, that's a poor pass. Ryan Richards tries to put through Reese Thompson. Reese Thompson now with the ball, can he get the fifth? Oh! Cusack almost, almost takes that, but the deflection did not help. Brilliant play by Soltash. The ball was fizzed in by Reese Thompson, but the deflection to get, I think, too far behind Cusack, and his header goes agonizingly over the bar. Soltash still have one change to make, and they've got plenty of time to make it. Taking the throw, it's now Cleary with the ball. That does, however, come to Bevan, who punts it in. But there's nobody in yellow to deal with the cross. It's back with the Saltash defence. And it's put a field to Ryan Richards. Who now has players running around him. All is played to Farrant. Reese Thompson is there. Ryan Richards there. It does come to Richards. Back to Farrant. And a bit played into the box, it goes in, and it reaches a tour point head. Sure, tuck it for Faz. Kershaw, stolen by Thompson. Now Thompson with the ball, he takes a shot, it's just wide of the goal. The Saltash threat is very real at the moment. Bit of a break in play here. With Saltash United free kick. It's been a good performance today by members of the team who usually wouldn't play. We've had Matt Cusack, we've had Steve Sarge and Matt Godfrey as well, now putting in a shift. The ball is played forward to Ryan Richards. That is a free kick to tour. But that is hey, what the fuck is that? A kick out there by Bevan on Reese Thompson. And that was a bit late. And it's starting to get fiery here. The players aren't happy here. Bit of a scuffle. The referee will have to sort this one out. It was Lee Bevan that initially kicked out at Reese Thompson. And Sam Farrant, who came in, possibly a bit aggressively towards the referee. And it's quite difficult to see what happened, but players are being summoned over by the referee. What's kicked up to Curtis Damrell. Can he come through here? There's a slip there by O'Brien, and Damrell is unable to convert. He was a bit behind in the ball there. It was a slip by O'Brien that let him through, but he couldn't put it away. And Saltash escaped there. Tall point now with the ball. Hicks plays it back. This is Kershaw. Crawford. This is Damerill. He just cannot fight off Callum O'Brien. Now Ryan Richards is through. Tight angle, and he takes a shot. He's off the keeper. Comes back in again. It's all point. Narrowly escape another. Really is a threat today, Ryan Richards. Tall point. Barely able to restrain him. Substitution now for Saltash United. And it's the third team's young Cameron Lidston. Making his first appearance for the first team this season. He'll be replacing Steve Sargison. I'm sure Saltash will be very thankful to Steve Sargison for making the appearance today. A depleted squad. He certainly pulled on his boots today. Tall point again. Just haven't seemed, haven't seemed quite as gelled in the second half as they were in the first. Certainly not as potent. There's a tale of two halves, really, this game. Yes, 
One all after half time. Now 4 1 as we approach the end of the second. Kershaw kicks it up. Now it's Hill. Hill loses the ball, but the ball is regained and the shot is tame and gratefully caught up by Ricard. Hold on, the ball has apparently gone out for a corner. Confusion there, but the ball is definitely going out for a corner. And Torpoint have another chance to attack. They've taken it short, and in comes the ball now. Save there by Ryan Ricard. The ball comes in again from Hicks, and it's cleared by Trot. And that ball will go out for another corner. A late spur here from Torpoint, looking for that consolation goal. That'll bring the score to 4 2. Crawford is up. Kershaw is up. Bevan will take the kick. In goes the kick. And it's, it goes in, but that'll count as a foul. Ricard grabbed the ball, but he was fouled as he came back down. There's the final whistle, and it is Saltash United that go through to the FA Vars second round. Brilliant performance in the second half, and even the first half, but Torpoint couldn't match in the second half, and it's a brilliant result for the Ashes who will move on to the next round.